Welcome back guys to another PvE build for New World. This time I am on my Fire and Ice Mage. I'm almost using the exact same setup like on my PvP build setup with the Commander set. Three pieces light armor, one piece medium armor and on the head just a random light armor piece with int. Best perk would be Empowering Fireball. But it doesn't work, it's bugged at the moment, like many many other traits and perks. That's why I just use the commander set, not worth it to waste all my gold for basically zero bonuses. As weapons, the prime reserve fire stuff, which you can gain from the quest line called prime reserve. I will link it in the comment section below, check it out. It gives corrupted bane which gives 18% more damage to corrupted enemies. A lot of times, if you have to farm some elite mobs, like in Mergard or Mines over here, or even the Pass here, they are all corrupted mobs, so you will do 18% more damage against them. On the back bar, AI Gauntlet, which I dropped in the level 60 plus dungeon Garden of Genesis, a pretty decent one with Vicious, 10% extra crit damage and Chain Eyes, another proc damage. On the Amulet, I'm using a self-crafted one with Int, Refreshing and Mana Recovery. Instead of Mana Recovery, you could go with Health, for example, for extra HP. Then on the Ring, Hearty and Lightning damage, <laughs> not the best choice for PvE. I would recommend to go with, let me check, fire damage, which increases our fire damage instead of lightning damage, for example. But since I also play PvP with this character, I keep this one. Then the earrings with refreshing toast, which reduces our potions cooldown to 25%. The best trade would be probably focused, which gives mana region traits. Int and in Constitution on the Fire and Ice Gauntlet, also Int for extra damage on the Jury, full Int. As gems, I use most of the time the Diamonds on the Armor, here's the Onyx one, on the Weapons, the Opal for extra 15% damage while your stamina is not full. And with Rollage, you can easily animation cancel your heavy attacks, as you can see. It's pretty easy, and you gain extra 15% damage. Small tip for the animation cancelling try to use the left mouse button during the roll dodge, like this. So press the left mouse button before you even land to animation cancel. So you are probably even faster than without roll dodging and you gain the extra 15% damage. Jewelry, one diamond and two onyx. You can also go full diamond, it doesn't matter to be honest. You can also put some carnelian gems on the jewelry for less threat, for less aggro. But to be honest, the most good tanks they can keep up the aggro if they are good enough. As potions, I mainly use the infused health potions if I'm trouble. And for sustain, infused regeneration potions. We don't really need the mana potions here, since we have this juicy passive from the int a passive. If we have 200 int, we gain 10 mana after a roll dodge or after a dodge in general. So if we dodge, we gain 15% more damage thanks to the Opal gem. Sustain thanks to this passive here. And we can animation cancel, so we will be faster and we'll do more damage. So guys, try to roll dodge more often. Buff food, most of the time hearty meal for HP region. Energizing hearty meal for mana region. And for extra int, the strongest one, steamed a buyer serp, which gives 40 end for 40 minutes, but it's really expensive. It cost me I think 250 gold for one buff food. If you don't have enough money, just use this one here. It's way cheaper and it gives only 10 
int less. Then coatings, strong lost coatings, which increase our damage by 11% against lost mobs. The duration is 10 minutes. Then the angry earth coatings, same stuff, 11% damage increase against angry earth. Then against ancients and against corrupted mobs. Just simply use them on your current um, weapon bar. I'm on my fire stuff here. And now my ice stuff. Zack. As you can see, here is the buff active on both bars. Attribute points. I'm with 314 int and 103 constitution for extra HP and armor. But you can also put more points in int if you prefer. I also tank with this character, that's why I have a little bit more in constitution. Weapon skills. Let's check the fire stuff first. I put armor points into the left one. Our three active skills are pillar of fire, meteor shower, a cast dot, and fireball, another dot, which also deals direct damage. The most important passive one is this one here, the Rubens of Helios. Casting a fire spell, place a 2 meter rune on the ground, increase your spell damage by 30%. But you have to send in this rune and it uh, lasts for 7 seconds and has 23 seconds cooldown. Let me show you the rune. It's pretty big, as you can see here. Other players can also step in and gain the buff by just standing in there. Let's check the Ice Gauntlet. Three active skills over here. Ice Spikes is a pretty decent AoE. Then Ice Storm, one of the strongest AoE dots in this game. Ice Pillon, you place or summon a pillon that fires ice projectiles. It is a good amount of single target damage. Let me demonstrate you this skill. Suck. Nothing special, but helpful in single target fights. Passives, I put 4 points into this ones. None on the right side, only to empower the pillow here. I put them on the left side, mainly because of ultimate chill which increases our ice damage by 35% for 3 seconds if the target is supplied with chill. That's it with the build showcase. If you have some questions, just type it in the comment section below. I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Now with some PvE gameplay footage, enjoy.